Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and I'm back with a more in-depth look at the new trend from Tonic Studios and this is called Christmas Magic. Now I've done a short video just a while ago when it came out, possibly about a week and a half to two weeks ago, uh, but I didn't have all of the products then, I actually only had very few, but I wanted to show you the sort of basic feel for the thing. And I said I'd come back with a more in-depth one when I had everything. So this is it. Well, actually, this is what is all available from Tonic at the moment. So if you haven't already seen the other video and want a quick look, because I did make a really nice card with it as well there, I'll put the link down below to that. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, then you'll be able to see any more that, that follow. Also, don't forget, you can share. And please leave me a little comment and let me know what you think about the video. So let's have a little look. There are five different papers in this first of all so as you can see I've only got a small sample of this because I've used all of mine up but this one is called Snowbound and it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the lovely, te not so much a texture as a beautiful uh, patterned sheen off that one. I can't really describe it other than a patterned sheen but it's really really beautiful. That is Snowbound. Then we have Starlit Sky which is this kind of pearly one here. Next there is, just check all the names here, Cosmic Vista, Venetian Gold and Heart of Gold. Now I'm always wary of bringing that Venetian Gold too close to the light but you can see the rest of them there and they are absolutely stunning, particularly that foiled one there. You can see the sheen off that. Right, I'll set those aside and I'll just show you through the little 6x6 paper pack as well. So we've got this one and it's a double sided paper pack, 6x6 six six, and there are 8 designs and 6 of each design. I have a new one there but I'm just going to flick through this one and show you the papers that are inside it. And you can see I've already been using that one. This is a really beautiful washi tape and there are 3 different designs on it. Two of them are ultra fine glitter texture and the other one is a beautiful stripe and spot there of the gold foiling on it. So there's lots and lots of different things you could use that one for. I love using washi tape in place of ribbon or just where you don't really want to, to cut a fine stripe of card. You can put this on really easily and it just changes the texture up very very quickly and beautifully. So that's that. Then we have Pure Sheen Sequins. So these are actually golden stars. Can you see that? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? And then we have iridescent circles and those are different sizes in there and I've already used those on some projects but um, not ones that I can actually show you today unfortunately but I will be using those again. Now if you keep an eye on the, on the rest of the videos I definitely will be coming back using lots and lots of these products. I'm going to use, use some of them to make something today with you but uh, I will be using this for other things as well. So there are two brand new embossing powders. This one is Golden Egg and this one is Carbon Sparkle. So you can see that this one has a more black base to it with a little sparkle through it. And this one is a mixture and it looks like gold and silver and uh, a slight little darker hint to that as well. And maybe a little bit of thicker glitter in both of those. We've also got a beautiful glitter drop here and this one is called Gold Dust. I actually love glitter drops. I love all of the drops but the glitter drops are particularly nice because just at the end of a project you can add them on and they just give a really really beautiful finishing touch. Now there's pure sheen glitter as well and that is ultra fine. Look how fine that is. You can see it in the bottle there. And this one is called Stardust. Then we have Expanding Mousse and this one is called Tricorn Black. So if you haven't used Expanding Mousse before you spread this with your spatula or whatever, but usually a spatula, and normally through a stencil. And then when it's uh, when you remove the stencil or whatever and you use your heat gun, this one will expand and become quite puffy. And it's a really, really interesting texture. Then we have uh, stone drops, and these ones are inkwell black. Now stone drops are a kind of a grittier finish than the other crystal drops. Then we have uh, vintage drops and these ones are called, called Gilded Gold. The light was shining and I couldn't see what they were called. But gilded Gold and 
if you know vintage drops, they have got a beautiful matte finish to them. But hang around because I will be using lots of these. This is a beautiful mica spray and it is called Pearled Ivory. So you can see the mica floating about in there and you'll get a really, really beautiful sheen off that when you add that to your project. We've also got Dream Drops and these ones are called Golden Shimmer. So it's a white base with a little golden fleck through it. And Dream Drops are iridescent so that's absolutely stunning whenever that dries. Then we have these dual dot markers and I said in my last video, that I, or my kit video actually because you got to try all these in the, in the, the last kit. I said I'd be using these a lot more and I'm definitely going to use them in this video because they are definitely underrated. I love these things. Now there are actually two ribbons but we, I haven't got them and Tonic themselves don't actually have them at the moment. But I can tell you that it's Glamour Gold and that's a 3mm one and 16mm Pearl Noir. But uh, they will be available hopefully next month. That will be September from Tonic. And in the meantime, I'm going to have a little look and I'll be back in a moment or two and we'll try out some of these things. I love all these dies in issue four of the Christmas magazine. So I thought I have a video before where I used them with the magazine papers and colours and that's all sort of red and silver and whatever. But as I actually mentioned in that video, which I will link down below because the video at the magazine itself is actually still available but even if you have got it and haven't seen that video you could have a little look over at it as well but as I mentioned then uh, the papers and, and whatnot that are in the magazine will eventually run out as you use them but those dyes will just go on and on you can use them with whatever colours you've got and they're absolutely perfect with these colours. I thought I'd do a really big card this time so I've picked a 7x7 seven seven craft perfect card and I've cut a layer of Cosmic Vista and that's 17 and a half centimetres square. And as you can see, I cut the centre out of it because I thought you won't see that and um, I may as well use it. I've done the same thing with the gold one. And that's 17 and a half centimetres square. And then the gold one is 17 and this next one, which is 16 and a half, are going to be glued on top. Now, as you can see there, I have um, taken the centre out of the gold one as well. And I just wanted to give you a little tip when I'm gluing this one down. I think if you put glue too far out to the edge of the gold, it's, it gives a little ripple on the top side of it. So it's better just to keep the glue to the inside a little bit and go along here rather than right out to the edge there. There we are. And glue that on top of there. So we've got black, gold and black and the black just brings it off the page nicely, just shows up against the white and then the gold in the centre is really really beautiful. We need this one here, but the full uh, square of that one, but not to worry because uh, that will show through the lovely big um, snowflake that I'm going to put on. I <laughs> nearly said sunflower, but it's a snowflake. And then that right on top of the 7x7 seven seven card and you can just see a little bit of the white the whole way around there. This large snowflake is actually gold but because of the glare I'm just showing you it upside down. So I've used the large outline snowflake for this one and I've cut it out in the gold and then you can choose whichever little insert you like here. There are six of them around the outside and I've used one here and what you do is set it on top, cut it out and rotate it until you have the six patterns cut out on the outside. And then I have used this with the lovely uh, speckled paper, the Cosmic Vista. And I have cut this shape here. And then I have left the next die intact and I've taken this one and cut that through the pattern there cut the pattern through the pattern card. It's not really beautiful even in the centre there. And then what I'm going to do is turn this over and that goes in there and you can see all that beautiful gold through it. And then I'll glue that onto the card itself there. But I've taken then the centre, I've left this one out and I've gone then for the beautiful 
really, really unique, sort of intricate snowflake there. And I've cut that out in gold and I'm going to put in that in there. And then I've taken the little sentiment with the, the backing plate on it here and here. And I'm going to glue those together with my little fine tip nozzle, the new precision nozzle from Tonic. And I'll put all that on there. And that is really, really stunning. And I haven't even touched the Nouveau products on it. I've just stuck to the die cutting and the, the lovely cards from the trend. Finish that off then with uh, some of these little snowflakes just dotted here and there around. I added that let it snow on a 3D foam pad and then some of these iridescent circles and I actually did just sit and put them on singly with my tweezers and my little fine nozzle glue. So I thought the overall effect turned out really really well but you can just see those here and there and I think it actually was really worthwhile although it was a bit boring to put them on but it only took a moment or two. My second card is A6 and then I've taken a piece of Cosmic Vista card and I've cut that to 10.5 centimetres by 15 and that's going on there and then I cut a piece of Heart of Gold card and that measures 10.5 by 7.5 centimetres and I'm putting that across here. But I've also used this die that is intended for the rosette. That's this one. And it's absolutely beautiful if you cut that off and use it as a border. So that's what I've done here. You can see on the back of it here, I have trimmed this across. And I've done exactly the same thing here. And I always find that it's easier to use double-sided tape on the back of foiled card or whatever. And here's what I'm going to do is just check that I've got it the same depth as that one, roughly, uh, and go from there to there and just tap that down. And then I can trim off the excess. And we're good to go. So that can go across the card like this. That will get glued on there, that will get glued on there. And I've taken some of the beautiful snowbound card. I'm definitely going to have to get more of that because that is so pretty in behind that snowflake. And that is going on there. Just to finish that one off then, I'm going to add one big golden shimmer dream drop in the centre there. For my next card I've taken some of the Starlit Sky paper and I've got this die that cuts out the beautiful snowflake and I've just placed that upside down and I'm going to place it randomly here and then draw around the inside of it with my dual dot marker and this one is the Empire Gold one. covered the A6 card with a piece of the paper from the 6x6 pad and then I've trimmed this one, whoopsie, I've trimmed this one to 9cm by 13.25 and now I'm just going to take some glue and add it into the centre here. And I'm going to tap some of these little golden stars confetti on top and then I'll shake off the excess and leave that to dry. The glue has dried in that and the little stars have all stuck into the centres of the snowflakes that I drew with the dual dot markers and I added some little gold stars in the centre here and I die cut the joy from gold and backed it onto some of the paper from the paper pad 
and I think that turned out really well. It's very, very sparkly in real life. I'm going to try some of the expanding mousse now. So I've got a piece of the card in behind there and the stencil over the top. I think for the expanding mousse you need a stencil that's not too fine and not too detailed. So I think this one should be perfect. I'll add some of the glitter over the top as well. We're going for a very subtle effect here because I've gone tone on tone, but I think this should turn out well. Doesn't that look really beautiful? It's a very, very subtle effect, as I said, but you can see how the hearts have risen with the expanding mousse and that glitter on top is really just beautiful. Now, I've already got some double-sided tape on the back of this, but I want to add some washi tape in a strip down the side, so I'm going to do that now before I put it on the card. Probably cover, yeah, that'll cover one of my rows of hearts, but that won't matter. I don't know if you can catch all that, but it absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. All that glitter and the washi tape and everything. So I'm going to go for total glitter overload and I've got gold dust glitter drops here and I'm going to add some to the centres of the big snowflakes. Actually, all of the snowflakes. I've only got four. There are my finished cards and I've used quite a lot of stuff out of the trend, but not everything. So hang in and in a, in a future video you'll probably see the rest of it used. So there we have it, there's the large one. Uh, I think that's a really elegant looking card and it doesn't have any of the mousse or anything on it but it's really really beautiful just with the the gold and the black together. And then we have this one and I think that gold border just sets that off and I love that great big drop in the, in the middle there with the dream drop. And then this one which I think is Totally different from the others uh, in that it's hand drawn and whatever. And then last but not least this one with the beautiful glittery hearts on it and then the big snowflakes. So I hope you've enjoyed that and it's certainly well worth having a look at that trend and seeing what all you can use it with. This time I've used it with Christmas cards as I, as I said but it doesn't it's not just for Christmas so don't uh, think you have to limit yourself to those dies or whatever. Just look in your stash, see what you've got and give it a whirl. And thanks very, very much for watching again. I'll have my affiliate links to everything that I've used down below in the description. And thank you very, very much to everyone who uses those. I gain a little commission from that, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So thank you very, very much. Don't forget again to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Share if you can, if you like. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to leave me a little comment. And thanks for watching once again and until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.